So this week makes it six months now that I've used Metricool and really tested out the platform. So I wanted to give you guys an honest review of the things that I love and some of the things that I don't love about it, as well as kind of an overview of the features and kind of the minutia of what's good and what's not good about this software. Um, maybe this will help you guys to kind of determine if you're looking into this, if Metricool is the app for you. And let me just give you full disclosure up front. I do have an affiliate link for Metricool, but my integrity means way more to me than making a quick buck. So I really am going to be incredibly honest about some of the things that I love and some of the things that I don't love about this platform and really let you be the judge. Now, first of all, Metricool primarily advertises itself as a post planner, a way for you to kind of combine all of your social media posts into one place and really streamline that process. So you're not bouncing between six different apps for let's say a company's social media that you manage or maybe even your own. It's supposed to be a big time saver. And that is one thing that I can say about this app is it has saved me a ton of time. This business that we're looking at right now, I manage their social media and I've got six platforms set up for these guys. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, TikTok, and YouTube. And being able to do 99% of what I need to do on those platforms from one place has been a huge time saver. Early on in the business, I wasn't using Metrical when I was managing these guys' social medias. And just posting anything definitely took probably two or three times as long as it takes through this planner. So instead of getting out one or two posts in a day, there's a lot of days that I can get out three or four posts just because I'm saving time. I'm able to do more actual work on the content side of things because this kind of streamlines the actual distribution. Now, as far as the actual planning works, one thing that I don't super love about Metricool is that if you're gonna post on, let's say, TikTok or Twitter, which might have shorter character limits than Instagram or Facebook, meaning you can't have as much text, there's not a super easy way to kind of fork those posts to get a longer description on Instagram and Facebook and then a shorter one on uh, Twitter and TikTok. So one thing that I've kind of done or figured out here is if I create a new post, what I'll do is I'll first create the post for Facebook, uh, Instagram, and LinkedIn, which have unlimited character limits. I can write basically paragraphs for whatever I'm posting about. I'll set that up and I'll schedule it for the future whenever I wanna post it. And then what I have to do is actually click duplicate. So basically once you set up a post here, we'll, we'll just set up one right now. Uh, maybe we'll throw in an image real quick. <laughs> okay, so maybe I want to schedule out in the future here a picture of this hamburger. I'll just set it a few minutes in the future so this doesn't actually post. What I have to do is set it up, let's say I have um, an incredibly long character limit, just pretend here, uh, for these platforms. What I have to do is save that, and then I have to wait for that to actually post. And then what I have to do if I wanna shrink down that character limit for, let's say, Twitter, is I have to hit duplicate, and then I have to come in here and say, okay, this one's just gonna be for Twitter, let's get rid of all these platforms, and let's make the kind of character limit shorter. So now what I have to do is I kind of have to split that single post into two, and then when I publish those, now I get those different character limits. It's not terribly inefficient, but just being honest, it's not something that I love having to do every time. Now, as far as the actual controls on posting to different platforms, it is pretty intuitive about giving you most of the kind of controls that you would want. I think you can do uh, location tags for Instagram through here on the planner. Um, I think obviously you can do hashtags, you can do all that kind of thing. But the one thing that I don't like is as Instagram Reels, have really developed and now you have kind of reels topics which are an extra way to get your reels found that's still not a feature that they've added to the planner i can't if i post a reel through here i can't get those three topics in that reels have and another kind of issue that i have is tiktok is not 100 percent automated and that's really not metrical's fault it, i think it's tiktok's api their actual technology behind the scenes um, they don't have it set up to automatically post a tiktok so what you have to do so you actually have to um, go to your phone and re-download the post that you've scheduled on your phone and manually post it there. So it saves you a little bit of time, but TikTok is the one platform that they haven't completely automated. And again, it's not Metricool's entire fault, but that is one of those things that does cost me a little bit of time is if I'm gonna post something to TikTok. One feature that I really do like though is this analytics dashboard that it gives you. So it compiles all of your data from all of your different platforms here, except for LinkedIn, because that is a little bit of a different social media platform. That's kind of the black sheep of social media. 
Um, and it combines here. It'll tell you all of your followers. You know, are you are you going up? How much is it going up over time? And you can change your kind of uh, date range to see. Okay, let's see over the past uh, the past six months. Let's see how I've done since I got Metrigool. Looks like Instagram's booming. Facebook's going up a little bit. I've definitely got some work to do, right? Um, but it'll also show you all of your impressions in one place, which is really nice, especially when I'm trying to show, um, you know, my boss or the companies that I market for. Am I Am I getting us exposure? This will tell me explicitly how much exposure are we getting between all of these different platforms. Again, it doesn't show LinkedIn in here, which is a little bit frustrating, but it's got integration with 90% of the stuff that you're gonna be dealing with. I'm just gonna kind of scroll through here and show you some of the other stuff too. It'll show you um, your interactions on your posts. It'll show you the number of posts that you're doing on each platform um, and that kind of thing. It'll show you your top performing posts as well. And one thing that is really cool about this too is you can actually generate reports from this data. You can actually go in and generate these reports that have even more detailed information showing, you know, what are the different cities that people are really following you from? You know, what are your top demographics? Who are you getting in front of? Is it men? Is it women? What is the age group? And it'll actually put all of this into a really big report, which again, if you're doing marketing for a company, um, or even if you're doing it for yourself and you want it really compiled in a neat way, uh, the reports that Metricool offers are a really nice touch. Now, another cool feature that Metricool has is the inbox setting, which basically takes all of your different social media platforms, your DMs, your comments from all these platforms, and it puts them in one place so that you can immediately see what people are asking, what people are saying about your brand. It can really save you time if you're somebody that faithfully tries to get back to every question, every comment, every DM. It'll show you obviously which ones are unread, which ones haven't been responded to, that kind of thing. Personally, I don't use this a ton because I really try to respond to people on Facebook and Instagram for the businesses that I manage. As far as TikTok and whatnot, I'll hop on there every few days. This is probably something, honestly, that I should be using more. This is probably something that <laughs> I would be the perfect use case for. I just, if I'm being real with you, I don't use this as much as I should. But it is cool that it puts it all in one place. I might have to blur out some of this uh, just for privacy here. But one thing that I really love about Metricool is it'll show you your best times to post on both Instagram and Facebook. So it'll collect data for you to show you here are the times that most of your audience is online. So they pull that data and they actually give you percentages here. So we can see on Saturday at 7 a.m. it looks like we've got about 87% um, of this business's audience online. Okay, what would be my best time to post on Saturday? I can scroll down and see, oh, we've got 98% of the audience online did not mean to click that we've got 98 percent of the audience online around 2 p.m so this gives you that really specific data to know okay these are the best times for me to post on instagram well let's see what facebook says and i guess even twitter that must be a new integration i didn't even know that they had that again on facebook we can see it's similar we've got uh, 90 percent of our audience on at 2 p.m on a saturday so i would know that that's a really good time for me to post for that business now, a couple more features that Metrical has on this top bar here are smart links and ads. And I haven't played with either one of these in Metrical, just full disclosure. Um, smart links do kind of a lot of the things um, that you've seen with other link softwares for Instagram, it's kind of like Linktree, that kind of thing. But for the most part, when I'm marketing these businesses, I'm just having their website in the bio because that's where we want to drive traffic is to the website, you know, to get more sales. So. This is really nice, I think, more for a personal use. You know, potentially if you've got a business where you've got multiple offerings or special deals going on at once and you wanna drive traffic in different kind of funnels, this could be powerful. I just haven't played around with it a whole lot. And again, that probably falls on me, but I've got other things I'm working on with these businesses. As far as ads too, uh, it'll integrate both your Facebook and your Google ads into one place. I haven't looked into this a lot, I just wanna be honest. Um, but for me, this is one of those things where it's like, yo, Facebook and Google have very good user interfaces. I just don't see a world where I would really care to use this um, as opposed to Facebook or Google directly for advertising. Now, Metricool does have both a phone app and a PC app. And that's kind of what I alluded to when I was talking about TikTok, right? So if I upload my TikTok video on the computer, I still have to go to my phone app and download it to actually post it. Because again, it's not 100% automated for TikTok videos. The reason that I bring that up is, to be honest with you, I think the PC app is very robust. I get a lot of use out of the actual computer app here for Metricool, the website. When I go to my phone app, 
it's it's tough to use, dude. I really don't love Metricool on the phone. You can do the vast majority of things on the phone that you would do on the computer. It does have functionality, but the actual user interface on the phone is not wonderful. It's it's a little bit kind of clunky to use. And if I'm being honest too, the user interface for the actual computer here is not it's not the best thing on the planet. It works, it's efficient, but it does feel a little bit dated and it feels a little bit unpolished. I would like to see Metricool definitely kind of like pretty this up a little bit. When I had an internship back in college, I used Hootsuite, which is far more expensive than Metricool, but Hootsuite, they had a nicer user interface for sure. But that is, that is one thing that I do wanna say about Metricool, honestly, is that Metricool's pricing is really hard to beat. After I graduated college and I used Hootsuite and I saw the power of this thing, I spent months looking for uh, other social media planners because Hootsuite is just so expensive. And Metricool was the one that I found that was fairly cheap. And so I, I really wanted to test it out and see, you know, is, is this worth it, this cheaper software? And from what I found, you can do all of the same things on here pretty much that you can do on a more expensive software like Hootsuite. It's just maybe you don't get the same amount of polish as you would. But to me, as somebody who's looking to kind of like cut expenses where I can, and it has the same functionality, is like, do I really care about polish? Does that, is that worth, you know, an extra 40 bucks a month to me or whatever it costs? Probably not. Metrical price-wise is incredibly hard to beat, and I haven't found anything else with this level of functionality for this price. And I think that's one of the areas that Metrical truly stands out. I know I kind of spent a lot of this video talking about some of the things with Metricool that lack polish or that I don't love, but overall, dude, this, this platform has saved me a ton of time and the price is super reasonable. I have their, their cheapest plan, which is uh, $18 a month US. And dude, for less than 20 bucks a month to be able to save me or basically cut my time in half for actually posting stuff is incredible. On top of that, to have all of my analytics in one place that I can clearly look, that to me is a huge time saver rather than trying to compile every few days. Okay, Instagram's up, Facebook's down. What am I doing? How many followers am I up on these different platforms? That time savings too, in addition to the time savings that you're getting from being able to auto post from one place to 99% of your platforms. Dude, I think Metricool in my, in my opinion for what I do is a no brainer. If you guys are serious about um, posting, you're posting a lot and possibly posting to different brands. You know, maybe you've got a client, maybe you've got your personal brand, maybe you've got even like a, a passion project on the side. I think this is a great way to save time and kind of win back some of your freedom and spend more time on your content, honestly. And content is the number one thing that you should be focused on if you're doing social media anyways. So to really kind of ask the question, you know, six months into using it, do I think that Metricool is worth it? I absolutely think it's worth the cost if you have the workload to justify it. So I'll leave it up to you guys to make your mind up about Metricool if this is right for you, if it's not. Um, I will say, if you guys do decide that you wanna try out Metricool, um, if you guys could use my affiliate link, that'd be awesome. I do get a small percentage um, back of whatever you end up paying to Metricool. Uh, full disclosure here, this is how much I've made in the last two months. I had a video just talking about Metricool kind of earlier on after I got it, but I wanted to give you guys a six month review and talk about if I still love the platform, if I still recommend it, if anything's changed. And the answer is that I really do love Metricool. There's a couple things that I would like to see polished. You know, it's not always Metricool's fault. They're, they're working with all these different social media companies. They're like air traffic control, trying to understand all these different algorithms and different APIs and whatnot. But um, if you guys want to use my affiliate link, I would appreciate it. Um, give me a comment below if you guys have any questions about anything. Hopefully I can help you out. Again, I haven't really used uh, Metricool for Twitch, uh, Google Business, or Pinterest. Those are the three things, the three platforms that I haven't um, hooked up to Metricool yet. But again, any questions, just let me know and hopefully I can help you guys out.